All right, on today's episode of Schneider and Son, we're picking up a 1994 C1500. Bought this thing from a friend at work. It's got a bad rear brake line, so we're gonna fix that and then hopefully drive it home. Okay, so you can see here that brake line that goes from the middle of the axle to there. And that's what's failed. You can see the leak remnants of that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jack this up. We're gonna take the wheel off, get ourselves a little bit more work room. So you can go up here and you can press the button. There we go, we got one off. Are you do the next one? Yep, take that one out. Oh, make sure you get it on there straight. Okay, there you go. Good job. Yep, get it on there straight. Get the drill on it. Yep. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. Try to get this. Try to get the brake line. What's the brake line? This is the brake line. What happened to it? Well, All right. So we got our old line off. And we've got a new brake line here that we're going to bend using our handy dandy bending tool that we rented from AutoZone. We're going to try to make that as close as we can to the original. All right, the next step is we're going to pull a little brake fluid in, and then we're going to bleed the brakes, and then if it looks good, we'll drive the home today. Right. We'll start there. Get the other ones. Okay. Okay, that's pretty good. Once you feel like it's on there, you go to the next one and go across. Yep, there you go. So you go across, do that one. Yep. Feel that rust that fell down? Oh no! I hope pieces of our truck didn't fall down. Tight as it can go. Alright, so we're about to take it around the parking lot, test out the brakes, make sure it's good to go, and then we'll drive it home. All right, so we made it home with the new truck, 94 Chevy C1500, 4.3 liter V6, 80,000 original miles. All right, it's a few weeks later since we brought the truck home. Wanted to do a quick walk around. What do you think about this thing, dude? I like it. What's your favorite thing about this truck? Just like, it. Just like it. I like it too. So it's got 80,000 original miles on it. The previous owner, apparently he did not drive it much. The original owner. So it sat outside. Um, so it's no tilt, no cruise control. It does have air conditioning, but it does not function. Got vinyl floors. We'll tear in the seat, kind of normal. Got manual locks, manual crank windows, which that's kind of one of the things you guys have been enjoying, right? Cranking the windows up and down. Less to break on this thing. Less things to break. So you can see we've got the typical, typical Michigan rust. For those of you not in Michigan, this is what happens. Frame is pretty rusty. Looks like mostly surface rust. You can see there's a 
Those of you who have a good eye notice there's a ratchet strap holding the gas tank up. So we need, next thing on the list is to get some fuel tank straps, repair those. Box is not bad shape. Not sure why that didn't rust out. Tailgate's in pretty good shape. Box has some, some rust. It's probably the worst spot right there. Overall, pretty clean for a 94. Pretty clean. too bad not too bad a little rust on this fender the hood has clear coat and paint peeling but we're all pretty pretty nice so let's start it up real quick Pretty quiet, all things considered. It's a it's a 94, so it's a TBI. Some people have asked me, Jordan, what are you gonna do with this truck? You already have a truck. Your daily driver's a truck. And these are usually the kind of people who also ask me, like, why do you need nine three-wheelers? Nobody needs that kind of negativity in their life. While we're talking about three-wheelers, let me just show you another reason I like this truck. You can fit two full-size Honda ATCs with the tailgate closed. You can go up north, do some trail riding. Room to spare, room to spare. If you've got a friend with you, maybe your son, you can put some gear in the back here. All sorts of space. All right, thanks for watching guys. Uh, if you liked this video and you wanna see more of this rusty Chevrolet as we fix it up and more of our adventures, feel free to subscribe. Check us out on Instagram, at Schneider and Son. If you wanna see more of our adventures as we're buying and selling and mostly hoarding, Honda three-wheelers, lawnmowers, ATVs, old rusty trucks, quads, of course, we can't forget about quads. Thanks for watching.